Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Can We Recycle Plastic More Sustainably? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Chem Sus Chem, published on May 6, 2022. Research conducted by Christian Sonnendecker, Julianne Usser, Thorsten Usser, and others from the Institute of Analytical Chemistry and the Department of Microbiology and Bioprocess Technology Institute of Biochemistry, both at Leipzig University in Germany. See the full list of authors and their affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Plastic is all around us, in our toothbrushes, pens, cars, and even clothing. It is very useful, but plastic trash ends up in the environment and is bad for animals and humans. It can take hundreds of years to break down. Recycling this plastic can take a lot of energy and often still leaves waste. We wanted to find a better way to break plastic down and reuse it to make new plastic. We discovered an enzyme that, quote, digests plastic in the same way that humans can digest food. Using this enzyme to break down used plastic means we will need much less energy to recycle plastic. Plus, we can even use the products of the process to make plastics that are just as good as new ones. Introduction. Plastic is very important. We use it for food containers, clothing, bags, and much more. Can you count the number of plastic things you use every day? Unfortunately, most plastic waste ends up in landfills. We only recycle a small amount of plastic because it's hard to do. Plastics are separated, melted down, and then reshaped into new plastics. This process needs high temperatures and takes a lot of energy. It also produces harmful pollution. Plus, recycling decreases the quality of the plastic. This means we can only recycle plastic a few times before throwing it away. A closed loop system would be much better for the environment. In closed loop recycling, plastic would never end up in a landfill. Instead, it would be recycled forever. To do this, we need to make sure the quality of plastic stays the same during recycling. We think enzymes can help. Enzymes are like little machines working inside your body and in the environment. Enzymes help all kinds of chemical reactions happen, including breaking down molecules into smaller molecules. When you eat, enzymes help break down food into smaller molecules your body can use. We decided to look for an enzyme that could help break down plastic. Then maybe we could use it to create a closed loop recycling system for plastics. Here in Figure 1, you can see how a closed-loop recycling system could work. The enzyme breaks down the plastic into molecules that can be reused to make more plastic. The plastic, at the top of the diagram, contains molecules, indicated by the purple hexagons and orange triangles. Following the green arrow in a counterclockwise direction, you can see that enzymes break down the molecules in the plastic into their component pieces. Continuing to follow the green arrows, then you can see those molecules can be used in further plastic production. Methods. Plants contain molecules that are similar to the plastic molecules we wanted to break down. In compost piles, microscopic organisms produce enzymes that can break down these plant molecules. So we collected several samples from compost sites in Leipzig, Germany. We looked at the DNA in our samples to find enzymes that might help us break down plastic. We found seven different enzymes. So we did some experiments to see how well they worked. First, we placed each enzyme in a container with plastic. We let the enzymes break down the plastic molecules for 24 hours. We did this at different temperatures too. Then, we measured how much plastic got broken down. 
We also compared our enzymes to another enzyme that we already know breaks down plastic. We did more tests using the best enzyme. We tested to see how fast it worked. We looked at its shape and figured out how stable it was as well. Once we knew enough about the best enzyme, we did one final experiment. We used it to break down a plastic takeout container. Then we used the broken down molecules to make new recycled plastic. Results. Our experiment led to the following key results. One, the best enzyme was the one we named Plastic Hydrolase Leipzig 7, but we'll call it enzyme number seven here. After 24 hours, enzyme number seven had digested almost 100% of the plastic. Two, enzyme number seven works best at 70 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Three, enzyme number seven can work really fast. It worked the most quickly between four and eight hours after it started breaking down the plastic. And four, Enzyme number seven can break down plastic into very pure molecules. We were then able to create new high quality plastic from those molecules. This is an example of closed loop recycling. In figure two, you can see the percentage of plastic digested in 24 hours at 70 degrees Celsius by enzyme number seven, another enzyme from the landfill in Leipzig, and an enzyme previously known to digest plastic. These three enzymes can be found on the x-axis of the graph. On the y-axis, you can see the amount of digested plastic as a percentage of the original sample. Looking at the graph, how many times more effective was enzyme number seven than the second most effective enzyme? Discussion. Enzyme number seven is a great enzyme to try using for plastic recycling. Enzyme number seven broke down a lot of plastic compared with the other enzymes. It is also thermostable, meaning that it can work at a variety of temperatures. It worked even at 70 degrees Celsius, about the same temperature as the air inside a hot clothes dryer. This is a lower temperature than we usually use to recycle plastic. Recycling at a lower temperature can save a lot of energy. Enzyme number seven also breaks down plastics quickly. That means it could also help recycling processes go faster. Finally, enzyme number seven breaks down plastic into very pure chemical molecules. We can recycle these to make new high quality plastics. We won't have to use additional materials from the environment. So, enzyme number seven could help us achieve a closed loop system of plastic recycling. Conclusion. It is important to make sure you are recycling any plastics you can, but it can be even more important to reduce how much plastic you use. Here are a few ideas. Try to reuse plastic containers. They can be great for drawer organization, gift boxes, or even small planters. Bring your own reusable shopping bags to the grocery store. Choose to buy items that have no or reduced amounts of plastic packaging. And consider joining an environmental group or start one at your school. You can help raise awareness about actions that we can take to reduce the use of plastics. Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.